Hello everybody, welcome to the cold chop burr man. It's freaking cold out. Big winter time in the city. <laughs> Alright guys, got these flaps and they are figured out on the bottom side. Okay. There just has to be a gap there. No way around it or we don't get no up travel. Let's call for seven eighths of an inch. I got an inch. Okay. And uh and it's gonna have the flap rounds too. They will work great. All I gotta do is put my ends on there. I gotta add a little here. I don't know how that came up short. I got the top sanded. I got these hinges kind of tack glued in place. Now what we got to do is put this cover on. Okay, this is a hinged gap seal cut. Uh, gap sealer hinge that will be hinged also. They're really kind of cool. They kind of move with the plane. And this one has to be longer because it goes up all the way to the fuselage. So we're going to leave that a little long. We'll just make it by rock fiber for now. Now I've got a awesome way I'm going to mold these up, guys. Tape them in place. I don't really want to hinge them yet. I just want to get a uh, proof of concept. Know my idea is going to work before I go any further. You know what I mean? Never. So I don't want to get all these all this done and find it. Oh, it ain't going to work. It's best to get this ball going there and out of the way now. And this is all we need. Now this is a pretty cool setup. How what makes this go up and down, guys? It's really easy. We're gonna make you wait until we do it. That's not good. No. Pushing the top of the wing up. I believe Brian said he had to sand that down. Well, that ain't bad. That's sticking up a little hard because I'm just pushing on that old one. It does need to be a little bit thinner. Just to sand her down a frickle.
One thing I should see, I need to take a little more off this leading edge right here. Make that more round on top. But I gotta be careful here because uh, this is going to fit this, and it fits it really good right now. Man, I was watching some videos on YouTube a while ago. I kind of like watching them. Uh, crash. <laughs> you know, cars. You know, race cars. <laughs> I don't know. But I was watching the Isle of Man crashes. You guys want to see some crazy things. Some of them guys, over 240 people have died on that track since they started racing there. 240. Actually, that fits pretty dang good right there. Nice and flat. Drops down, covers the flat. That one fits pretty good. This one just wasn't a test drive. Yeah. Where I got a little happy when she was getting in the house. You gotta go pretty deep. Ah, but that's where I'm at, guys. I'm gonna watch my new episode of Gold Rush and sit there and let that Bob O'Neill and tick away and work a little bit. And we'll be back with some more videos. We'll keep you filled in. So until then, we'll see you.